When you think solar system or planets, you're more likely picture Saturn, a massive gas giant with famously beautiful rings. The planet had captured the hearts of astronomers since 1610 when Galileo first laid eyes on it. And since then, the beautiful planet has done nothing but astonish us with its beauty and complex intricacies. Whether it's the rings that we study or the various moons, we always find a reason to come back to Saturn. You know what my mama used to say, if you like something, put a ring on it. Saturn's Rings The idea of Saturn without rings feels somehow incomplete. It's like imagining tides without the moon, or Saturday without Sunday. But strange as it sounds, at some point, Saturn was just another ringless planet, pirouetting through the cosmos alone, another marble among many in a young solar system. It's hard to say how or when Saturn's rings came to be. Estimates say they were formed anywhere from 10 million to 100 million years ago, possibly from Saturn's gravity-shredding comets, asteroids, and even moons. The violent process continued to collide, creating rings of ice, rock, and dust. How such extraordinary beauty emerged from such chaos is a celestial mystery we may never fully understand. Although, that shouldn't stop us from trying. The Saturn system has had a handful of visitors over the years. Pioneer 11, both Voyager missions, and most recently, Cassini-Huygens. It doesn't stop there either. In 2026, NASA will launch Dragonfly, a rotor craft that will explore Saturn's mysterious moon, Titan. Every mission gives us more insight into the planet's iconic band and new breathtaking images to marvel at. Unfortunately, the rings are a fleeting beauty. Research says the planet's gravity is pulling the rings inward, causing them to become a dusty ring rain in Saturn's atmosphere. Calculations suggest Saturn's rings could be gone in just a hundred million years. A sad thought, I know, but fortunately, it is eons away. The best thing we can do is cherish the rings now while they're still around. The Moons One of the other defining features of Saturn is its number of moons. Excluding the trillions of tons of little rocks that make up its rings, Saturn has 82 discovered moons. In fact, the probe Cassini discovered two new moons almost immediately after arriving, Bethony and Paulini. And before 2004 had ended, it detected Polydeuces. As the probe wandered past Saturn's moons, the findings it sent back to Earth revealed new things about their environments and appearances. Some of the more notable findings include Finding evidence of liquid water on Enceladus, a frozen moon that shoots out icy jets as it is warped by Saturn's gravity. In 2015, a giant methane lake on Titan 50-mile landslides on Iapetus, a close-up view of Rhea, and a huge ring 8 million miles away from Saturn, likely made up of debris from Phoebe. Cassini This is all thanks to the Cassini space probe. The Cassini was the first dedicated spacecraft to look at Saturn and its system. It was named for Giovanni Cassini, a 17th-century astronomer was the first to observe four Saturn's moons, Iapetus, Rhea, Tethys, and Dione. Before the spacecraft came, Saturn had several flybys, Pioneer 11 in 1997, Voyager 1 in 1980, and Voyager 2 in 1981. Some of the discoveries that came out of these missions include finding out that due to its thick atmosphere, Titan's surface can't be seen in visible wavelengths as well as spotting several rings of Saturn that were not visible with ground-based telescopes. After the last flyby, in 1982, astronomers in both the United States and Europe formed a working group to discuss possible future collaborations. The group suggested a flagship mission that would orbit Saturn, and after years of deliberating, Cassini was born. Cassini's development came with at least two major challenges. By 1993 and 1994, the mission had a $3.3 billion price tag. That's roughly $5 billion in today's dollars, or about half the cost of the James Webb Space Telescope. 
Cassini also received flak from environmental groups who were concerned that when the spacecraft flew by Earth, its nuclear power could pose a threat to our planet. These groups filed a legal challenge in Hawaii shortly before launch in 1997. But the challenge was rejected by the Federal District Court in Hawaii and the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals. All that aside, NASA's Cassini spacecraft has been snapping amazing photos of Saturn and its moons from 2004 to 2017. For more than a decade, NASA's Cassini spacecraft shared the wonders of Saturn and its family of icy moons, taking us to astounding worlds where methane rivers run to a methane sea and where jets of ice and gas are blasting material into space from a liquid water ocean that might harbor the ingredients for life. After 20 years in space, 13 of those years exploring Saturn, Cassini exhausted its fuel supply. And so, to protect moons of Saturn that could have conditions suitable for life, Cassini was sent on a daring final mission that would seal its fate. After a series of nearly two dozen nail-biting dives between the planet and its icy rings, Cassini plunged into Saturn's atmosphere on September 15, 2017 returning science data to the very end. This intentional death dive was performed to make sure Cassini never contaminated a potentially habitable Saturn moon, such as Enceladus or Titan. The mission is known for discoveries such as finding jets of water erupting from Enceladus and tracking down a few new moons of Saturn. Saturn Hexagon Amongst the amazing images from Cassini, a large hexagon-shaped storm was photographed at Saturn's North Pole. This colorful view from NASA's Cassini mission is the highest resolution view of the unique six-sided jet stream at Saturn's North Pole. Scientists observed the motion of a wide variety of cold structures that reside within the hexagon. There is a massive hurricane tightly centered on the North Pole, with an eye about 50 times larger than the average hurricane eye on Earth. Numerous small vortices are also present, which appear as reddish ovals. Some of these vortices spin clockwise, while the hexagon and hurricane spin counterclockwise. Some of those smaller features are swept along with the jet stream of the hexagon as if on a racetrack. The biggest of these vortices, seen near the lower right corner of the hexagon and appearing whitish, spans about 2200 miles, approximately twice the size of the largest hurricane on Earth. Strangely enough, the hexagon is just a current of air sharing a lot of the same weather features as the storms on Earth. The only major difference is that a hurricane on Earth typically lasts a week, but this one has been here for decades, perhaps centuries. High-resolution views of the hexagon have only recently become possible because of the changing of the seasons at Saturn and changes in the Cassini spacecraft's orbit. The North Pole was dark when Cassini first arrived in July 2004. The sun really only began to illuminate the entire interior of the hexagon in August 2009 with the start of the northern spring. In late 2012, Cassini began making swings over Saturn's poles, giving it better views of the hexagon. Eight frames of a movie were captured over 10 hours on December 10, 2012. Each of the eight frames consists of 16 map projected images, four per color filter, and four filters per frame, so the movie combines data from 128 images total. Using a variety of filters and color schemes, scientists were able to decipher the various images and apply logic and reasoning behind the strange phenomenon. While to the human eyes, the hexagon and North Pole would appear in tones of gold and blue, the various camera of Cassini was able to distinguish the different patterns within the massive storm. For example, the air streams that forms the hexagon pattern also turns out to be a barrier as well, preventing things from entering and leaving the storm. Discoveries like that are thanks to the Cassini. It is only a matter of time before Dragonfly embarks on its mission and picks up where Cassini left off. The beautiful planet and its amazing moons only have more secrets to share. Whether it's observing the storms of Saturn or studying the various moons that can hold life, we as a scientific community have only scratched the surface.